We've been joined for a chat by Rodney Odinachuku. I think I got that right. <laughs> Ume as well, known popularly as Rodney. That's Rodney with a zero and a three. Now, he's a, a content creator um, and also a certified social media influencer who is famous for mimicking relatable scenarios of our daily uh, life. And Mr. Rodney, you are welcome. Good to finally have you here. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> First off, uh, I'm a fan. Let me put it straight to you already. In fact, I contacted you and said, hey, let's have a chat here on Wake Up Nigeria. But I do know that you are not resident in Lagos. You're resident where exactly? Uh, in Abuja. You're in Abuja. Okay, so why are you in Lagos currently? Uh, I'm, I'm in Lagos. I'm, I think I have some things I'm working on. Okay. Yeah, some things that I'm using to promote my yeah. social media. So we're going to talk about that very soon, and you're going to be very honest with us. But let's talk about your social media efforts. First off, you're a TikToker, you're a uh, content creator. I don't know whether to put you in a space as a comedian. Would you say that you are a comedian as well? Yeah, I, won't, I don't know whether to call myself a comedian because um, <laughs> basically the kind of content I, I produce is something that everybody can relate to. Mm -hmm. and that, at that point, I'm not like saying I'm trying to make you laugh or I'm trying to make you... I'm just trying to connect yeah. to people in the outside world, try to relate to them, make them to like feel what I'm feeling and... and they will know that, okay, everybody is going through this kind of thing. And like, okay, if you can laugh about it, yeah. Let's carry on. Mm. <laughs> well, it's very interesting because you, you do have a point there. It's very ordinary, everyday things that happen. But people find it very, very funny. I remember the one about the mosquitoes, uh, the guy sucking blood and then the one who's singing <laughs> your ears. And I'm like, that's, that's just funny stuff. And it's very, very true. You also seem to have a knack for um, taking instances from secondary school and making them relatable to people who, have, who are even older than that phase of life. Yeah. Is there a particular reason why that uh, premise is something that you always go for or that you use as part of your content? Yeah. No, usually content creation, it takes a lot of deep thoughts and stuff like that. But like finding a way to connect with the audience mm -hmm. and like my goal is not just to connect to the youth it's to connect to every other person mm -hmm. and like considering that secondary school is like the longest um, phase of your life that you don't want to life. be in <laughs> <laughs> longest phase of your life in the education sector mm -hmm. and like everybody has passed through secondary school mm -hmm. there are even people who are still in secondary school so like if i produce content that is based on like the secondary school scenario. It's like people who are in secondary school will relate to it. Very true. People who pass through secondary school also relate to it. So that it's it's going past just the youth and also like the older generation. Older generation as well. So like that's my goal. Okay, so who do you think uh, formed the core part of your followers? How many followers do you have? Let's start with on Instagram, for instance. On Instagram, I have like 240k. Okay, and you're also on TikTok, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And how many do you have on that? 3.3 uh, million. 3.3 million. Who are the people that follow you? Yeah, the people that follow me, most of them are, are teenagers, adults. So you can see the influence I'm dragging at now with the secondary school scenarios that you always use. And that means that they are actually they, they, they are a role model, let's put it that way. <laughs> very, very fun. Um, most of your, uh, the stuff that I find hilarious on your uh, uh, content are often the secondary school bits. They, they, they just make me laugh like head over hill, uh, hills. Um, now let's get back to that very first question I asked you. I asked you why you're in Lagos. You have 3.3 million followers on TikTok quite a number on uh, uh, Instagram, where you're verified as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, however, how is this working for you, first of, as a student, because I believe you're still a student of the University of Abuja. What are you studying, by the way? Uh, political science and international relations. Political science, okay. So how is that working for you as an influencer? Is it making the money? Sorry. Yeah, you, like, the money aspect, the money is coming. How much money is coming? It's, it's enough. Enough. Enough to say, what am I doing with this education? No. No. <laughs> I mean, because that's where I the mean, world I is. Got into that. Content creators are making a killing. They're building houses. They're doing everything for their parents and then their younger ones. They're buying yeah. cars every single day. What's the point of the education? Why are you suffering through another, your final year of, of university? Well, it's, it depends on, like, 
I've, I won't say like I'm the whole like pronounced content creator. Of, I'm, I, I would say like I'm still like in the growing phase. Mm-hmm. So like the money I'm making, I won't say like it's really really big that I'll make it to want to quit school and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I consider it like money like you made from something if like you have a side hustle like you do, okay. that kind of thing. That's the kind of money like you'll be making at least for my level now. Mm. Yes, so like I won't say that okay, I've made so much money that yes, I want to quit school, I don't need school again because <laughs> even if I'm making that kind of money surely, like in the future and I'm still in school, uh it's I still need to get that degree. Okay, fantastic. I'm gonna put you on the spot and make you tell us um who your best content creators are, even as a content creator yourself. In a moment we'll be showing you some of his material, some of his kits. So you just stay tuned and you get to understand why exactly I'm a big fan of Rodney here. But if I was to ask you, it's a big industry now. Everybody's creating content every single day that grabbing from life uh, instances or they're making up things that you've never seen before. Um, I think a guy called Mary Gold is somebody I also have on my radar because he makes pranks and pranks are a new thing. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But um, who would you say are your best creators so far? My best content creator? Uh, mm. On TikTok, um, there's a guy called uh, Jeremy Lynch. Okay. Yeah, he's a football... Mm -hmm. um, do I say football trickster? Or... Okay, okay. And he also creates content. What about Nigerian? What Nigerian ones do you follow? Okay, do you find in interesting? Yeah, Elozonam. Elozonam? Yeah. We've had him on the show here. I think he's fantastic yeah, he's, as well. He's a very good content creator. Yeah. Um, who else? Give me one more. One more. Anybody. Anybody. Okay, 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 okay. Let me think. Anybody at all? Anybody that comes to mind? <laughs> okay. that comes to mind. Let's, uh, let me not, let me not put you on the spot. Who? Instagram wise. No, it's okay. Let me put you on the spot. Let's let's do a um a one of your material. Okay. And then when we come back, we'll talk more with Rodney. Uh, check this out. In just about a bit, I think we're loading that one. Um, so let's just. Just hang on a second and then we'll get that one to you. Okay, so now let's get back to content creation here in Nigeria. Now, if we're in 2021, do you think that further from now, we're going to have um, a situation like I described where you would need no other source of income but to be a content creator? Do you think that's going to happen? Yeah, I think like, content creation is going to be the future. The way, the way it's going. Because like, I don't think content creation has gotten the kind of uh, like, attention that it has been getting. Okay. From the start of lockdown, it was like it's from lockdown that everybody was at home and then want to kill boredom and mm. stuff like that. So like from there, everyone is on the internet. Yeah. And the amount of content that was produced during that 2021 had made a lot of people to still be on that internet. Exactly. Looking for. I couldn't agree with you more. more You're absolutely yeah. right. Let's do that piece of a material from Rodney that I was talking about, uh, and we'll be back in just a bit. Um, so you also borrow a lot of stuff from already happening uh, instances like maybe urban uh, settings or hip-hop settings and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, have you ever had any of these instances where somebody says, you use my material, you can't use my material? And what would you do in that kind of an instance? Okay. Um, when I don't usually um, put myself in the situation where someone wants to come and say, oh, you use my material and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But like, when I see like something that is really, really good, like content that is really, really good, and I feel like I can replicate this kind of content in my own way, like I will put it out there, I'll create the content, but like I'll still have to give credit to the person. Okay. Like this is the person that inspired me to make this kind of crap. Okay, interesting. What about the other way around? Have you ever had people use your content that you didn't give permission for? And what do you do then? Yeah, countless times, countless times. But like, do you think that this is? Do you think that this makes you more popular, or do you frown at it? Yeah, I don't frown at it, actually. I I just take it as, wow, my content was so good that someone had someone decided to copy it. Uh -huh. But like, most of the time, it's like 
my my followers that even bring it to my attention. Interesting, I can imagine. But when I look at it, I just laugh and I'm like, yeah, carry on. What's the best response you've gotten from an international audience? What's the biggest one? What's the one that you can uh, look back and say, oh, that was a very exciting moment in my entire uh, content creation history? Anybody from the international space, who, anything, what experience? Yeah, I've gotten a lot. I think one was um, a video that I did, I think, uh, last year. That, that video should be on around 8 million. 8 million views? Yeah. It's, it's, it went far, I think, like, to the U.S. Nice. Uh, audience. And they... 8 million views, you should be making plenty of money now, isn't it? I mean, Rodney, I'm not <laughs> saying skip school, but man, you've got quite the business going on right now, honestly. I mean, truthfully, if you ask me, hey, you are you're a great uh, personality, great uh, uh, um, uh, content creator, and I, I think you've got a very long way to go ahead of you, and it's bright.